Why is quantum computing such an exciting area to invest in nowadays? Well, they've started to take off dramatically, and I have three stocks that I'm going to share with you that have done well. And there's a reason for this. It's because of the leaps that's being made with quantum uh, computers. For example, Google came out with the Willow chip, and it performed a computation under five minutes that would have taken a supercomputer 10 septillion years. So the problem with quantum computing is it's very unstable in many ways. Uh, a classical computer works with digits. It's either zero or one. It's either on or off. It's like a light switch. A quantum computer considers all the answers in between one and zero, between yes and no. In fact, something can be both zero and one at the same time on a supercomputer. So it's very complex. Instead of being like a light switch, either on or off, I've been told it's more like uh, being somewhere on the surface of a spear, all the possible answers that could occur, and that's why they can solve problems uh, that classical computers cannot solve. MicroCloud Hologram has developed what they call semiconductor dot hole spin qubit technology. Okay, all this stuff is just so complex, it's, it's hard to believe. But they, they, they say this uh, change of a semiconductor and this spin uh, qubit technology could revolutionize the way quantum computers operate and, and make them more applicable uh, to the real world and make them more reliable. And they talk about it, it, the computer having more fidelity, uh, less interference from these random factors. Uh, and the microcloud uh, hologram has had 99% fidelity. Uh, so it, it's seen as a breakthrough, and that's why the stock has taken off massively. And looking at the uh, uh, chart on microcloud hologram, it was below $2 early in the month, and it had been coming down for some time. Uh, so this news really reinvigorated the stock so that it went up 180%. But of course, it did that as a penny stock, and it ended at $5.80. Uh, so it is risky being a penny stock, but it rose on solid information, solid news, which is considered a major breakthrough. So it's in my world, it's worth taking a chance on. The relative strength of 72 on the breakout indicates that there's still demand for the stock. My favorite of the quantum stocks is Rigetti, symbol RGTI. It has broken out of penny stockdom and has hit $20. So it's made a real breakthrough and has a solid product that looks very substantial. But again, with all these quantum products, uh, can a person really totally understand them? Not really. Uh, I'm going on the evidence presented by others. And looking at the chart, you can see in the last month, it's gone from a, about $3 to $20, making 555% in the last month. Wow. Uh, and this is very reassuring to me, particularly when a stock gets over $10. Uh, I feel like it's reached uh, some level of maturity uh, where people are seeing it uh, for what it's worth and are going to hold on to it. In my estimation, this is the NVIDIA of quantum stocks. Uh, so I plan to hang on to it as long as I can. Its relative strength is 78, which is good on a breakout. D-Wave Quantum Computers, symbol QBTS, is the world's first commercial supplier of quantum computers. 
and it focuses on practical applications of them. It's used in logistics. Of course, it's used in artificial intelligence. It's used in drug discovery, cybersecurity, financial modeling. Uh, its clients are practical things uh, like MasterCard, Lockheed Martin, uh, Siemens, uh, Deloitte, uh, various universities. Uh, so it's uh, a very developed uh, company that has practical applications uh, which are being used by major companies, which is a good sign. Looking at the chart, you can see that D-Wave Quantum, QBTS, has gone up from about $3 to $9.5 in a month, making it 218% uh, in the last month. Uh, so these quantum stocks are all taken off. And I think the winners are the ones that can gear towards practical applications or showing major breakthroughs that, that are causing the quantum computers to be more stable, more reliable, and, more, and have more fidelity, as they call it. The quantum ETF is QTUM, Q-T-U-M, and its two largest holdings are Rigetti and D-Wave Quantum, but it holds scores of stocks. I don't think it holds MicroCloud Hologram, and I think that's because uh, their recent news uh, just came out, and they had been going down steadily until this recent news came out, which they think is a major breakthrough. Uh, so it, I'm hoping they uh, include it. They have scores of stocks, and Rigetti and D-Wave Quantum are like 2 or 3% of, of the fund, each of those stocks. So it has a lot of stocks in it, and it has a lot of cons more conservative stocks in it. Uh, so it tends to be probably a little more a wiser choice in many ways. And looking at the one-month chart on Defiance Quantum ETF, QTUM, uh, it's made almost 17% in the last month, going from about $70 to $82. And it's been a little bit of a rough ride at times, but it's been steadily going up. And you're likely to have a much smoother ride than you would have with any individual stock. Uh, and its uh, relative strength is 61, which is decent. Just a friendly reminder that this is not financial advice because I do not know your personal situation. You need to do further research and gather further information to decide if the investments I present are right for you. After having no Christmas rally, we thought that at the beginning of the year, maybe the stock market would reverse and, and go up. And it started to go up uh, in the morning on Thursday. But then Tesla's uh, sales numbers came out for the fourth quarter. Uh, they were expecting 515,000 sales in the fourth quarter, and they came in with 496,000, uh, which was a big disappointment. But, you know, the you look at the numbers on uh, Tesla recently, and I couldn't understand why the price was going up other than he has, him being Trump's best buddy. Uh, that's the only reason I could see it was going up. And people talk about the robo-taxi service. That is so far off in the future that it really shouldn't affect uh, the present price all that much. I mean, it is how many cars they're selling, which is the main thing right now. The robot thing is a thing of the future. The energy business is picking up, but slowly. Uh, so I, I just, uh, 
don't think that this is casting a very good light for things like MAGS, which is the Magnificent Seven ETF, and I'm reducing my investment in that. I had a lot of money in MAGS, and now I've cut it in half, and I think I might cut it back more uh, before the inauguration and focus more on these quantum companies and the other stocks that I will tell you about in my next video. I, I have quite a few individual stocks, and uh, they're artificial intelligence-related, many of them. Uh, I, I love this uh, quantum takeoff. In fact, the quantum taking off has made up for my losses in the big stocks. So I'm wondering, why am I holding on to the big stocks when I'm making so much more money with the smaller stocks? But those will uh, be covered in my next video. Uh, thanks for listening. <music>